I'd like to thank you for serving in the preschool area of our children's ministry. This is a precious age group and you will enjoy getting to know the children and the other volunteers that you serve with. The main goal for the three-year-old room, rooms um, is for the children in our care to feel safe and loved. Now some children at this age are still experiencing separation anxiety and so we want to be, uh, we want the environment to be warm and welcoming. Uh, we want to greet the children with a smile and if possible greet them by name. So even though you're serving only once a month, most of you, uh, each time you come, please make an effort to learn the names of the children and call them by name so that they know that um, they are known and loved when they're in our care. So we can't stress enough how important it is to be early or on time to serve. This is so important because of our child protection policy. Parents aren't allowed to drop off unless there are two unrelated adults present in the classroom. Um, this is especially important during transition times, say between the 8.30 service and Sunday school or between Sunday school and the 11 o'clock service where there's children going and coming and um, sometimes children can get upset during that time if they're looking for their parent and having extra hands there to comfort them and to keep other children from getting upset is very important. So, and it's very helpful when they leave to, um, to address them by name and, and tell them how glad you were that they came and, and how glad we, you are that we had fun today in Sunday school or children's church or whatever it was. Because our, our main goal, again, is for them to feel safe and loved in our care. And um, in that environment, they will be able to learn and um, the, what we hope to um, impart in, in our lesson times. This age still has a lot of time for free play, and so that's a good time to get to know them and play with them and read books, and the, I'm talking about the three-year-olds again. Um, but they begin to learn the routine of coming to the story circle and having a time to clean up. And, and I would encourage you to help them, and thank you in advance, for helping keep the room orderly, putting puzzle pieces away, sorting toys where they belong, and teaching them the routine of taking care of this wonderful building that God has provided for us. We want them to respect and take care of our classrooms. Now the rules for this group time need to be reinforced each week as the children are young and learning to adapt to some structure. And um, Mrs. Dorothy Letchford, who taught this age for many, many years, had a little song that she taught them. And uh, it went to the tune of, Have You Ever Seen a Lassie? And I remember her singing it, and it goes like this. Oh, I want to be a good friend, a good friend, a good friend. Oh, I want to be a good friend in God's house today. I'll zip up my lips, put my hands in my lap, and my feet will stay together so my neighbor can hear. And um, something like that uh, is helpful to go through before you give the lesson to try to uh, tell the children your expectations and to do it in a very positive way. And that, that is something that you want to strive for is uh, try to make your instructions to the children in a positive tone. The Show Me Jesus curriculum is the center of what they're taught each week. And it primarily teaches, introduces them to Bible stories and beginning vocabulary of faith. So for example, I pulled out a lesson here on Zacchaeus, and Zacchaeus is a very familiar story, and um, you, of course, have read the scripture beforehand, which is a good place to start, and they have a nice script here for you to read for the lesson. But you can see at the end, the focus here is on, um, on what Jesus does, not on what Zacchaeus does. So 
It says Jesus had changed Zacchaeus. He wanted to be kind. He wanted to be honest. What a glad day. Jesus saved Zacchaeus. From then on, Zacchaeus' whole family belonged to Jesus. Only Jesus can change a sinner. And those are the kind of messages we want to make sure that we're giving to the children as we're not giving them um, moralistic messages, but we are teaching them who God is, what Jesus has done for us, even at these youngest ages. As um, leaders and teachers, we want to model excitement and appreciation for God and His Word, and it would be a good, always a good idea to bring um, a Bible to the circle time. Even if you use the Bible on your phone, um, it's best for the children to see a Bible in your lap to emphasize to the children that these aren't your words, but they're God's words. There are also songs that accompany the curriculum that can be found on the iPads in the rooms. And if you just go to the iTunes um, icon, you will find them under Show Me Jesus Toddler. And, and uh, you can easily find there the, the songs that the that um, the lesson recommends. And you don't have to choose exactly what's in the lesson if there's another song that, other songs that you want to choose, but we want um, to be somewhat consistent with the children so that over a period of time, they will be learning um, these basic songs. While you're in the, the story circle, the paid staff can get the craft ready at the tables. And, and I would encourage you to get to know the paid staff. Um, they are there every week and know the children better than you do, obviously, and they can be a tremendous ally. I, would, I do want the volunteers to be in charge of the class time, but they are your invaluable partners. So they will be getting the craft ready. Your helper, uh, the helper should encourage the children in, in their behavior and deal with any um, interruptions like children needing to go to the restroom or, or children that need to be pulled aside so that you can focus on teaching. So I, I mentioned that the Show Me Jesus curriculum is the centerpiece of what we teach the three-year-olds. At the 8.30 and 11 o'clock service, we have a short lesson that reinforces what they have learned in Sunday school. It's a companion lesson that briefly reinforces the same Bible story and truth. Um, these lessons were developed by Dorothy Letchford many years ago, and we've been using them and appreciate them. This gives our children uh, just one story that they learn every Sunday, and they might hear it two or three times even if they come back in the, the evening service but it is, heaps them from getting confused if, so they don't get a different story at the 8.30 or 11 o'clock service. Uh, this time, this hour, during the worship service, there's time for ample free play. Uh, even about half the time can be free play. And then the same routine with cleaning up, coming to the circle, having a short lesson, and I always have uh, other materials that you can read from for that lesson. And again, while the children are with you in the, in the circle, the paid staff get the craft ready at the table so the children can move smoothly there for their activity after the lesson. Your main goal is to love these children and help them feel safe and happy while in our care and while their parents worship, and that's a great gift to the parents, I assure you. Preparing ahead will make you feel comfortable in your role, but please don't feel the pressure to perform. We want you to just enjoy getting to know these children, sharing God's word with them, and your cheerful willingness to do that will produce fruit. And each time you serve, you'll get to know them better, and that will make it more fun for you. So thank you so much for serving our Young Covenant children.